So let's talk about how to set your Google Ads target location properly so that your ads are showing to the right people and you're able to uh, get the right type of customers into your business. So first of all, I'm in the new user experience in Google Ads. If you come here to the top, you can switch to the old design and to the new design. So if yours doesn't look quite like mine, be sure to check up there. Once you're in your Google Ads account, if you come over to campaigns and there's this little drop down here you can select campaigns i actually have a specific campaign selected up here phoenix closets campaign just as an example and then from here because i have one campaign selected you'll see this campaign settings pop up right here you'll also see it right here this little cog wheel if we click on this so that's going to pop open this window here where we've got all of the different settings and you'll see the locations right here. If we click this little drop down, then we're going to see a number of different options. First thing I recommend is checking this location options here. It's kind of a hidden little selector, uh, but it's pretty important because it's going to determine where people are able to find your ads from on a more broad level. So if you choose the last option here, it means that whatever location you select here, it's only going to serve your ads to people who are actually in that location. So in this example, it's Phoenix, it's a 40 mile radius around Phoenix, Arizona. If we were to select this option, it could potentially serve our ads to people in New York who are, you know, have a second home in Phoenix and are searching about our services in Phoenix, Arizona. So there can be some instances where this is beneficial, but for the majority of people, you'll want to use the presence location option here, which essentially just means when we come here to set this location, it's only going to serve our ads to people who are actually in that location. Now there's some options here where you can just select like the whole United States or something real quick and easy like, but I like to use the advanced search feature here. When you click that, it's going to open up this little map. And then you can, you know, zoom in, zoom out. You can change the uh, location targeting over here by just typing in a city, state, zip code, any type of location oriented information. And so we could, we could technically target just Phoenix, like the city itself around the city limits. Um, or we could, let's say we just want to target Phoenix and Scottsdale, Arizona, potentially do that as well. Or if we're like, hey, I like this targeting, but I also just want to target this side of the city over here. We can also set a custom pin. So I just switched over to the radius tool, which is now going to draw circles on the map. And you can do that by just typing in the name. So I could type in like surprise, Arizona. I could do it that way, but you'll see that doesn't really cover everything the way we want it. So I could come here and edit this little two pen tool, expand it, expand this out. And now it looks actually pretty close to what we were just talking about, but maybe we want to also target this area, but we want to do it manually. And there's no city here that we can target. So to do that, you can use this pin mode and drop a custom pin and start targeting specific areas that you want to target based on these pins that you're dropping, right? So maybe we decide that that's our service area right there. We're just going to serve the northwest side of Phoenix and we're not going to go into the East Valley at all. If that was the case and that's what we wanted to stick with, then we could just click save here and you'll see it's going to drop in all these values. Then, of course, we want to make sure to click save again. It's going to pop open this window and say, wait, just so you know, you're removing some locations. You can, of course, check. I don't really care. Continue. And then it will go ahead and save those changes from there. Once your changes are saved, it should start following those guidelines. And depending on how you have it set up, of course, if you have it set up to presence only here, then it should only serve your ads to people who are in this location or frequently in this location. Uh, you know, there is one caveat. Somebody might live and spend most of their time like out here in Santan Valley, 
but they work in Glendale. So they're going to see your ads. And if you offer like uh, closet remodeling services or kitchen remodeling services and you don't travel over here, there may be some instances where you get leads that live over here and you can't really go all the way out there to serve them at their house, but they end up seeing your ads while they're at work over here. So it's not going to be a hundred percent accurate, just like anything with digital marketing, right? But it should be pretty, um, pretty accurate. And for the most part should only serve ads to people who are frequently in these locations that you've selected here. So that's basically it. I hope you did find this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Google ads location targeting, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Um, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you